Hello Internet. Uh, this is a continuation of uh, courses that I submitted last summer. Uh, you guys wanted more and uh, here I am uh, recording something for you guys. Um, so I just want to introduce again Adobe Experience Manager. So or AEM. So what is AEM? Or what is Adobe Experience Manager? Um, Adobe Experience Manager uh, basically our Adobe Experience Manager CMS is uh, a content management system and um, it's a place, one stop place where you can manage all uh, your websites, uh, your content, uh, your assets and you can integrate with other Adobe Experience Cloud tools or products and basically um, it's a limitless place because it integrates with uh, the cloud sphere uh, products of uh, Adobe Experience uh, uh, cloud products and I'm, I'm going to show you that in a minute but uh, I want to keep this very simple um, what you're looking at here is uh, just an instance of Adobe Experience Manager CMS and uh, if you log in there for example you can be able to connect uh, the Adobe Experience cloud products and there are many so, uh, for example, i show you here, you can connect assets. Basically, your assets can be uh, uh, internally updated in AEM or they can be located outside. And you can connect them using a drive. And that's basically uh, one of the cloud products that is provided by Adobe. You have analytics, you have to connect that, integrate analytics, and you'll be able to... Uh, uh, look at different numbers, different uh, section of your site or your product or campaigns. And of course, we have that Adobe campaign there. You have Target, uh, you have Marketo engagement and lead uh, management. You have a lot. In fact, recently Adobe even purchased Adobe Workfront. They call it Workfront, which is basically managing projects, managing productivity, being able to, it's a really good tool uh, to be able to see every aspect of a project. So you have to think of it as Jira, or Jira on steroids, and even with a more, you know, smarter UI. And, uh, and Adobe is updating that a lot. So, and of course, this form management, digital signage, you know, for forms. And um, so these two go together. So you can see there's a lot of products under Adobe Experience Cloud. Um, but uh, for the sake of this uh, classes, I'm just going to focus on Adobe Experience Manager as far as managing uh, websites, managing uh, uh, assets within Adobe Experience Manager, and uh, as far as developing this site and uh, doing a few things that are just related to uh, uh, content management systems. So let's. Uh, wait to jump into the next uh, uh, lecture and I'll you know give you guys a breakdown but again for this course we're going to start with authoring within AEM which is what we refer to when we're talking about web content management uh, within AEM or Adobe Experience Manager and then ad administering AEM which is basically adding users checking for performance um, integrating or connecting uh, external services uh, starting and stopping services within the OSGI framework, so it, which is part of AEM, and just a good understanding of AEM. And then uh, I'll be able to do a few things on dev, and also a little bit of advanced topics, just to be able to, for somebody to be able to understand how to set up um, in an AEM, and um, you know, a good, a deep understanding of AEM as a tool. Uh, so let's uh, let's hope you'll stay for the ride. Hey, if you like this and you like any of my future videos, if you wanna check out more, um, subscribe. Let me know how I'm doing. You know, if you need more information, if it's something that you think it's not correctly represented here, uh, hey, I don't mind. Uh, you can just uh, drop me a note here. I'll be okay with uh, being corrected. Again, to recap, AM. CMS or AEM CMS is just a tool for managing websites and uh, it's very popular. Fortune 500 companies 
you know, most of them use AEM. And um, you can add assets there. You can do projects within AEM. You can add forms. You can manage a lot of other things within AEM. Thank you.